Welcome to our The China Briefing Show. Today, we're diving into some fascinating stories. First up, China has now surpassed the US in daily dietary protein consumption, with a notable shift towards plant-based proteins. This not only marks a significant change in dietary habits but also brings environmental benefits due to lower carbon emissions from plant proteins. Next, we're looking at Macau's innovative approach to tackling food waste. With food waste recycling schemes and a high willingness among residents to pay for waste disposal, Macau might just have a few lessons for Hong Kong. Lastly, Thailand is making waves on the international stage as it seeks to join both the BRICS group and the OECD. This dual approach highlights Thailand's strategic balancing act between Eastern and Western economic blocs. Please stay tuned for the detailed coverage. South China Morning Post, in a significant shift, China has overtaken the US in daily dietary protein availability, a feat once deemed impossible by many Western commentators and politicians. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, reported that in 2021, China reached a daily protein supply of 124.61 grams per capita, slightly surpassing the US at 124.33 grams. This milestone highlights China's advancements in food security, driven by both imports and domestic agricultural innovations. The Chinese diet, traditionally less reliant on animal protein, has seen a surge in meat consumption, yet plant-based proteins remain a substantial part of their diet, providing environmental benefits. China's focus on agricultural technology and sustainable practices has enabled this progress, countering earlier predictions of unsustainable global food demands. South China Morning Post, Macau, one of the world's most densely populated regions, faces a significant challenge with food waste, exacerbated by its bustling tourist industry. In 2022, the city disposed of 436,828 tons of solid waste, with food waste comprising 40%. Efforts to mitigate this issue include educating residents and businesses on waste separation and launching recycling initiatives. A 2021 study revealed that over 80% of Macau's residents and restaurants acknowledge the severity of food waste, with many willing to pay for better waste management solutions. The city's approach includes converting food waste into fertilizer and adopting AI technologies in kitchens to optimize ingredient use, highlighting a growing awareness and proactive measures to address environmental concerns. Nikkei Asia Thailand is navigating a complex geopolitical landscape as it seeks to join both the BRICS group and the OECD. While BRICS membership offers symbolic geopolitical alignment, particularly with China and Russia, the OECD bid is seen as a path to economic and regulatory reforms. Thailand's neutral stance amid US-China tensions allows it to benefit from both alliances. However, the country's policymakers are cautious about the implications of closer ties with Russia, especially given the international backlash following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Thailand's strategic moves include legal reforms to meet OECD standards and a balanced approach to BRICS, potentially participating as an observer initially to gauge the benefits and risks. South China Morning Post Hong Kong and mainland Chinese cities are facing a bleak outlook for their prime office spaces, with rising vacancy rates and declining rents predicted for the next 12 months, as reported by Knight Frank. The consultancy's study of 23 Asia-Pacific cities revealed that while 15 markets experienced stable or increasing rents in the second quarter, Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Guangzhou saw significant rental declines between 8.8% and 11.1%. These cities also had high vacancy rates, with Shenzhen's reaching a staggering 25.8%. The delivery of over 700,000 square meters of new office space across these cities has exacerbated the situation, pushing vacancy rates in first-tier cities to over 19%. Despite these challenges, Hong Kong remains the most expensive city for prime office rents in the region, though a 7% decline is anticipated this year. In contrast, Australian cities like Brisbane, Perth, and Sydney, along with Taipei, Seoul, and Singapore, saw notable increases in prime office rents, driven by solid market fundamentals. Overall, the Asia-Pacific region experienced a slight improvement, with a 3.1% year-on-year decline in second-quarter rents, indicating a tenant-favorable market in 2024. Japan Times 
The world's largest technology companies, particularly chipmakers, faced a severe downturn amid concerns over tighter U.S. restrictions on chip sales to China. This anxiety triggered a sell-off in the industry, leading to the biggest plunge since 2020. American giants like NVIDIA, Advanced Micro Devices, and Broadcom saw their stocks plummet, dragging a key semiconductor index down nearly 7%. The impact was global, with Dutch company ASML holding falling more than 10% despite strong orders, and Tokyo Electron leading losses in Japan's Nikkei 225 stock average. This trend highlighted the vulnerability of capitalization-weighted indexes, where the performance of megacaps like Apple and Microsoft, each constituting 7% of the S&P 500, can significantly influence the overall index. The sell-off underscored the broader market sensitivity to geopolitical tensions and regulatory uncertainties, particularly in the high-stakes semiconductor sector. South China Morning Post, a beacon of beauty, the rose symbolizes many things across different cultures, making it a near-universal muse in everything from haute couture and jewelry making to fine cuisine. The bloom is loved the world over for its delicate, even intoxicating scent with a single petal having power enough to captivate the imagination of those who breathe in its distinctive aroma. Naturally, roses are at the center of the fragrance world. Their scent has been locked into the olfactory memory of many and evokes elegance, refinement, and opulence. Tapping into this beloved note in fragrance making, luxury French perfumer Henri Jacques continues its love affair with the flower in its latest creations, the collection de l'Atelier. While the flower has long played an essential starring role in Henri Jacques' fragrance journey, last spring proved a turning point when the Maison discovered a rose unlike any other. This encounter sparked the creation of one of the house's most exquisite scents yet. The H.J. Rose de Mai led the Maison to harvest its own roses for the very first time. The H.J. Rose de Mai Absolute, the aromatic oil extracted from the 2023 harvest grown on the land of Henri Jacques New Atelier in the south of France, has lingering notes of honey and green herbs. There's a jolt of spiciness to its tail too, bringing a dynamic personality that Henri Jacques has captured in a trio of scents. The Rose Soleil is a delicate scent laced with spiciness. Notes of clove, sandalwood, patchouli, and ilang ilang give it a warming embrace. Evocative and bold, the Rose Tres Rose brings a powerfully saturated scent. A fragrance for the true rose lover, it encompasses the purest essence of the flower. An element of the unexpected makes the third fragrance in the collection, Rose Asia, stand out. Dry woody notes and zest come together to create a fragrance that is rich and complex. The fragrances are bottled in 30 ml artisanal carafes and together housed in an opulent white handcrafted chest with a plush pink interior as a set of three. This collection de l'Atelier is limited to 500 pieces, and, as with the fleeting beauty of the Rose de Mai, will never be created again. South China Morning Post there's a certain kind of woman, here's looking at you, Kate Moss, who can maintain an effortlessly glamorous look through the evening's revelries until the wee hours, even as the sun begins to peek over the horizon and night gradually gives way to dawn. Inspired by such figures, Masika, the renowned French jewellery brand celebrated for empowering confident, free-spirited women, has unveiled Midnight Sun 2, the second instalment of its Midnight Sun Oat jewellery collection. While the first collection took inspiration from the electrifying parties of the wild 1970s, this daring sequel seeks to capture the final moments of the night, as the last light of the stars meets the pure white of dawn. I have magical memories of parties until the end of the night, when we'd leave the dance floor to find the first rays of the sun, says Valerie Masika, founder and artistic director of the brand. That enigmatic duality between night and day inspired Masika to embrace the artistic principle of chiaroscuro, an Italian term referring to the interplay of light and shade in a work of art, creating a sense of opposition between two natural forces. Natural elements also shine through in the collection's bold use of sparkling diamond bubbles, meticulously crafted into eye-catching, rounded forms that evoke an untouched snowbank as pure as the first light of day. This effect is evident in White Midnight Sun, a breathtakingly avant-garde jewellery set delivering a distinctly neo 1980s sensuality. The semi-rigid collar necklace is densely encrusted with over 2,400 stones. 
At the center of the collar, a 3.55 carat pear-shaped diamond nestles in a yellow gold bezel, subtly nodding to the collection's solar motif. With the punk rock attitude of the 1980s in mind, a sculptural diamond-studded ear cuff feels playful yet provocative, complemented by a ring featuring the same rounded, diamond-studded design. Meanwhile, Luna Diva is a dazzling necklace designed as a counterpart to the first collection's masterpiece, the Solar Diva. Reflecting the moon's ghostly brilliance, this all-white gold version features snowset diamonds on each side of the collar, with a mesmerizing emerald-cut puzzle diamond suspended at the center. A matching sculptural signet ring completes this masterful set, which required over 400 hours of work and used 700 diamonds for the necklace alone. Masika is always one to push the envelope and bend the norms, and the groove set continues to play with its oversized, gender-neutral aesthetic. Large interlocking chains, made from polished gold and featuring brilliant and baguette-cut diamond links, create a retro-chic XXL link that's relaxed yet chic, blending masculine and feminine elements into one inquisitive artistic expression. Those looking to make an indelible impression will swoon over diamond frequencies, featuring a multi-row choker, a cuff bracelet and a tie necklace with a detachable pendant. Diamonds are set in cascading lines around the neck, reminiscent of musical notes dancing on a sheet. Showcasing the Maison's signature expertise in diamond setting, the flexible links ensure perfect fluidity, bending and reflecting light with even the subtlest movements, like a second skin crafted from brilliant diamonds. Making the most of life's moments is at the heart of Masika, a family-run jewelry maison dedicated to togetherness, indulgence, and a celebration of the finer things in life. Embrace the adventure of your next evening out with Midnight Sun 2, an iconic release from this esteemed maison. South China Morning Post, one of the most expressive decorative arts, Enamelink's history stretches back as far as the 13th century BC. Over the centuries, the craft has been used in various forms around the world to adorn everything from jewelry and decorative boxes, to objets d'art. The process of enameling involves melting powdered glass onto metal and requires expertise across various crafts, including miniature painting, firing, and goldsmithing, as well as an intimate understanding of color. It's meticulous work, but the result is so captivating that enameling continues to decorate fine jewelry, watches, and art to this day. Artisans tend to favor the grand few, or great fire, enameling technique in both jewelry and watchmaking. The method involves painting powdered silica directly onto a surface and then firing it in a kill at high temperature. The time-consuming process is repeated multiple times and requires painstaking attention to control the firing temperature and create a rich, glossy look. While known primarily for its diamonds, De Beers recently used Grand Few enameling for the autumn pieces in its Metamorphosis collection. Long strokes of fiery red and orange enameling complemented the rose gold foundation of the pieces and served to bask the Maison's diamonds in a striking autumnal glow. Buxalati also used enamel, alongside agate and mother of pearl, to bring life to new additions to its opera tulle collection last autumn. Here as well, enamel was used to create vibrant and deep shades of red, in this case, complementing the Maison's exceptional tulle technique, which laces gold across its intricate pieces in the shape of the house's signature flower motif. Depending on the look they want to achieve, artisans have several other enameling techniques to choose from, though each requires patience and careful work. Champleve offers high contrast by combining engraved patterns rendered using goldsmithing techniques with colorful enamel work, while cloisonné is a technically challenging art where gold wires are bent and shaped to form little cells that are filled with enamel liquid. In watchmaking, flink involves layering translucent enamel over a galosh plate to sharpen the colors underneath. Cartier taps into its mastery of both jewelry and watchmaking for the Panthea de Cartier collection. Bracelets include alloy exemplars with black enamel spots reminiscent of the pattern on a panther. In 2023, the Maison's Panthea de Cartier watches featured a black lacquered dial alongside the feline muse. Watch dials particularly make use of enamel through miniature painting. One of the most celebrated artists of enamel miniature painting in watches is Anita Porchet, a Swiss artist who is frequently asked to create one-of-a-kind and limited-edition timepieces. Her works have been commissioned by luxury Swiss watchmakers including Pia Zay, Patek Philippe and Vatran Constantine. Rolex might be known for creating iconic sports watches, 
but the Geneva-based watchmaker doesn't shy away from getting creative with the materials for its dials. The brand has used mother of pearl and meteorite in its watch faces in the past, but in 2023, it turned to the art of enamel for its oyster perpetual jigsaw Daydate 36. Champ leave enameling was used to define a precise puzzle dial in a rainbow of colors, in a playful design that featured a Rolodex of emojis in place of the date. Some maisons take things even a step further, refining the craft of enameling by developing new approaches that serve to enhance the imagery and emotion in their designs. At this year's Watches and Wonders, Van Cleef & Arpels debuted a new timepiece from its Poetic Complications series, featuring a dial rendered with a new enameling technique. Building on these crafts is one way for designers to expand their creative reach. Nicholas B.O.S., Van Cleef & Arpels president and CEO, believes in the value of preserving and building on the industry's time-honored skills. By improving on traditional techniques such as galoche and pliquage or enamel, we have succeeded in creating level surfaces akin to a painter's canvas, while also instituting sculptural forms in spaces as small as a watch case, he said. It's also a step forward in staying on top of emerging standards in the industry. Our new formulas no longer use lead, a heretofore standard ingredient in enamel, BOS added. The Maison revealed its new Facon enamel technique in this year's Lady Arpel's Jaw Enchant Watch, part of the Extraordinary Dials collection. To create the dial, enamel is poured into a stainless steel medium and shaped into a three-dimensional form, before being glazed at low temperature to prevent breakage. The artistry is enhanced with the setting of diamonds on tiny transparent enamel pieces. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email. Thank <laughs> you.